In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic, adding fractions. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, we learned how to add fractions using the butterfly method in one of my previous videos and you guys might be wondering why we're learning the LC method, and here is why. So with the butterfly method, you only use it when adding or subtracting two fractions with smaller numbers. So for example, if you have two over four plus three over eight, in this case, we have smaller numbers, it's much more easier to use the butterfly method, but however, with the LC method, you use it when adding or subtracting two fractions with bigger numbers. So for example, 2 over 15 plus 3 over 18 has much more bigger numbers. And with these bigger numbers, you can use LC method and it's much more easier. You can also use LC method when adding or subtracting multiple fractions. So for example, we have 2 over 4 plus 3 over 8 plus 4 over 9. And in this example, we have multiple fractions. But with the butterfly method, you can't add more than two fractions. Now let's see how to add fractions with unlike denominators using the LCM method. And the example we have is 2 over 15 plus 3 over 18. So what we are going to first do is that we're going to find the multiples for both 15 and for 18. So the multiples for 15 are 15, 30, 45, 60, 75 and 90. So these are the multiples for 15 and the multiples for 18 are 18, 36, 54, 72, 90, and 108. So these are the multiples for 15 and 80. The next thing we're going to do is going to be to find the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple in this case is going to be 90. So we now know that 90 is our lowest common multiple. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to see what number we have to multiply to 15 to give us 90 and that number is 6 because 15 times 6 gives you 90 and if you remember if you times the bottom number by 6 we have to times the top number also by 6 because whatever you do to the bottom number you do to the top number we know that 15 times 6 is 90 and 6 times 2 is 12 so which means we get 12 over 90 now we have 12 over 90 plus 3 over 18 we have to do the same thing for 18 as well. So which number do we have to multiply to 18 to give us 90? And that number is 5, because 18 times 5 gives you 90. So this means we have to times 18 by 5 and 3 by 5, because what do we do to the bottom number? You have to do to the top number. We know that 3 times 5 is 15, and 18 times 5 is 90. So this means we get 15 over 90. Now we have 12 over 90 plus 15 over 90. We know that 12 over 90 plus 15 over 90 gives you 27 over 90. We get 27 over 90 because when you have the same denominator, you're only at the numerator, you leave the denominator as it is. But if you notice with our answer, you could see that 27 and 90 have a highest common factor. Because they have a highest common factor, this means we can simplify this fraction. If you guys want to know more about finding the highest common factor, I've got a video on that. The link is in the description below. The highest common factor for both 27 and 90 is obviously 9. So this means we have to divide 27 and 90 by 9. So 27 divided by 9 is 3, and then 90 divided by 9 is 10. So this means our answer to this question is 3 over 10. Now to learn more on 11 plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.